What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video here, we're taking a look at Apple. Lately, or the, well, rather today, it rallied quite a bit. I'm loading this up in the stock research tool and I apologize in advance. Um, kind of under the weather, so if I have any sniffles, it's, well, because I'm under the weather. So, loading this up in a stock research tool built by yours truly, we're going to look at Apple from a fundamental perspective, look at the company metrics, which compares the five-year averages to the trailing 12 months, our financial valuations, which grades the company statements, so their cash flow statements, income statements, and balance sheets, and last but not least, our price analysis section here, which we will price out to find the intrinsic value of Apple and figure out what we should pay for it today. So with Apple currently trading at $171, it's been on a little bit of an incline. We hit a low of 129 for the 52 week range. Kind of, hmm. So we hit a low of 129 and a high of 182. So we've been on somewhat of an upswing. If we can take a look at that and just zoom in here. Yeah, so we hit that low point roughly in June and now we've just been climbing and climbing. So with our company metrics category here, folks, we can see that Apple on average has a PE ratio of 23.49 and it's been increasing just slightly in the trailing 12 months category sitting at 27.86. What I wanna look at here, folks, is any kind of discrepancies and any kind of differences if they're whether they're improving or making some errors. With Apple, our EPS is up over our five-year average, which is great. ROE is incredible compared to our five-year average. 152 compared to 78.13 that's phenomenal profit margin pretty consistent a little bit higher which is great our revenue is currently 387 billion dollars net income is 99.63 billion dollars free cash flow 107 billion dollars with our five-year average free cash flow of 68 billion dollars we pay out a small baby dividend at 0.52% with the yield and that gets paid out with 14.5 billion dollars so it can easily be covered with our free cash flow no problem incredibly high return on invested capital and almond z score which is 6.78 which is phenomenal and a peer trotsky score of eight we want to see this number between seven and nine folks nine being the highest that we can possibly achieve and they have eight and that is great so apple from their five-year averages to current uh, to the current situation looking pretty healthy jumping over to our financial valuations category here we are ranking this company a seven out of ten that's a pretty solid score we are only losing points in three categories and three of those categories are the five-year pe average their current ratio and the debt to equity so let's go through those important categories right now. So with our five-year PE average, we're currently sitting at 23.49 as we expressed. We want to see companies that have a PE average beneath 22.5. And with a trailing 12 months being at 27.86, it's not currently helping the situation. However, if they're able to justify the growth that they've been having over the last five years, this PE ratio I can overlook. However, ideally we want to see companies beneath 22.5. Our current ratio, however, is sitting beneath 1.5. That is not healthy. That indicates to us that they lack the assets to cover their liabilities. So we want to see companies above 1.5, and unfortunately, they don't have that, as well as our debt to equity is incredibly high, sitting at 172.94. That means they are funneling their financial leverage through taking on debt and not through equity which is not great because as interest rates rise and it's harder to borrow money, Apple is continually taking on debt to fund their R&D. We don't want to see that folks because as we move into a potential recession, this can be troublesome for a company so based in tech. And this is where a lot of tech companies will fall because over the last little while, borrowing money was no problem. When borrowing money becomes easy, companies fuel R&D and everything is smooth and great. When borrowing money becomes harder and debts become larger, that R&D slows down and technology companies, that's the, their bloodline. So we don't wanna see that. So that could be a potential risk. Actually, it will be a potential risk. Now, that's the three things that we gotta look out for. However, Apple's doing a lot of things right. Switching it back to all the lovely green that we're seeing, we have a high ROE, we have amazing EPS growth, we have a share dilution going down, 
by 3.75% over the last five years. And that means you are owning more of this company because they're buying back shares. So we love to see that. Our net income is going up. Our free cash flow is going up. Our return on invested capital is incredibly high, sitting at 31.39 over the last five years on average. And our revenue growth is 11.78% up over the last five years. And just to compare for our return on invested capital, currently sitting at 57 0.32 as we expressed that is incredibly high folks so apple's doing a lot of things right now these things here that they're doing wrong could be could bite them in the ass um going forward and we might see some slowdown in our revenue and free cash flow growth granted uh as this recession might creep up on them so my thoughts on Apple, I think it's a phenomenal company. Believe it or not, I own a position in the business, but I don't own any of their products. But they're phenomenal of just making you part of their ecosystem. Once they have you in, you ain't getting out. So with that in mind, we're going to jump into our price analysis section here. We are going to use these historical numbers to predict what the future might be for Apple and find out what we should be paying for this company today. Current price is 171. I'm going to fill these boxes and we'll talk about it in a quick second so stand by so folks before we jump into the price analysis section of this video if you're enjoying this video hit that like button hit the subscribe button it means a lot to me it warms my heart and this software here is coming out to you my viewers and subscribers so stay tuned i know a lot of you are getting impatient and let me tell you it's hard getting your own software out it's 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 a mission anyways with apple here and if you're new to the channel i like to stay as conservative as possible to give myself the most margin of safety so that's why I did six, seven, and eight percent revenue growth over the next ten years. Because look, guys, it's a two point seven one trillion dollar company. It's near three trillion dollars, guys. You think they're gonna grow that quick? And as well as a recession coming out, recession coming out as a recession looms and they're borrowing money like crazy. I have to expect revenue growth to slow down at least in the next 10 years. So that's why I'm doing six, seven, and eight. With that, I kept profit margin and free cash flow margin somewhat the same of what they've currently been doing because they've expressed that over the last one, five, and 10 year periods. But our price to free cash flow and PE ratio, I discounted it a little bit, going 14, 16, and 18 on both fronts and keeping my desired return at 13%. I'm gonna click calculate and the software is gonna calculate what we should be paying for this company today. But overall, folks, Apple's a solid business. They have an incredible ecosystem. Um, I'm just confused of why it's been rallying. I don't really watch the news. I just go based off of the fundamentals and take a look at this. Current price is 171, $172.10. And uh, with our numerics here, we are averaging out to be 117.09. Now. You may say, Leo, your numbers here are too conservative. And that's great. I respect your opinion, but these are the numbers I'm going at because I want to have a decent margin of safety for myself. So with that being said, our moderate average comes out to be $116. So this company has to fall quite a bit to be in the buy range to break up more shares of this company. Full disclosure, folks, I own shares of Apple. Uh, I bought in at the 130 price back in, I want to say 2020, some, somewhere along there. And I'll be fully honest with you, I may have overpaid just a little bit. But going forward, I need this company to fall down a little bit more so I could pick up more shares, ideally south of the 116 range or even back at the 130 range. But this is where I think Apple currently is. It's a solid business. Now, granted, I could potentially, let's say, up this revenue growth and go eight, nine, and 10, sticking more clear to our five-year averages. Now, it's going to be a little bit more lenient in our numbers, but I do think it needs to fall down probably into the 120 range. Yeah, software is working hard. So take a look. On the aggressive average, 171. So it's pretty much there if you believe those numbers on the 10% revenue growth over the next uh, 10 years. I don't think it's going to hit that just based off the market cap. The larger the company, the harder it is to grow. And the moderate average being at 140 based off a 9% revenue growth. But what are your thoughts, folks? What are your thoughts on this evaluation? What are your thoughts on Apple 
I think it's a phenomenal company. Write down a company down in the comment section below of a company you want to see evaluated. And stay tuned. Once this software is finally out, you can put in your own numerics. And we have a lot of things to offer with more features on the way. Along with this software here, the stock spec page, which allows you to see the company metrics, financial valuations, and the price analysis. We have news, the latest news on the company, information, as well as access to the income statements, the cash flow statements, and balance sheets, along with, if you want, don't care to read all this information, you can look at this information from a charts perspective. So you can see everything visually, nice and clear to see everything that's going on. And with more features along the way, folks, this is software that you don't want to miss out on. So hit that like button and subscribe button if you haven't done so already for more videos like this. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.